Applicate indicates chute deployed. The navigation has confirmed that the parachute has deployed and we are seeing significant deceleration in the velocity. Our current velocity is 440 meters per second. NASA is the most well-known agency responsible for space exploration. NASA, which has witnessed a lot of development since it's established in 1950, continues to attract attention today. Space exploration, which takes place every year, reaches millions with live broadcasts, and this situation has become more exciting through popular culture and platforms such as YouTube. NASA has used many different programming languages throughout the history. Even today, different computer programs are used for different applications. For example, HALS has been used for many NASA NASA spacecraft including the space shuttle. Today, ground computers use languages such as C++, Python and MATLAB. Many people imagine that most programming languages that already exist are being used somewhere in NASA. However, there is a list of software languages that NASA prioritizes its use, which does not change very often. Of course, staying up to date comes at the top of the issue that gain importance. At this point, it might be a good idea to really go at some of the more popular languages when you want to code in NASA. It's easy to transfer these skills to a new language when you are really good at one language. In fact, rocket scientists do not mean understanding the most appropriate language for a single profession. There are many variations such as physics, engineering, modeling, statistics, analysis, design, manufacturing, fluid dynamics, and embedded systems. So how do NASA's preference stand out? NASA likes to use language considered older than today's technologies. Also, assembly is often easiest to work with custom hardware in C or ADA. Scientist calculations can be in the form of scripting in Fortran or MATLAB, Visual Basic and Python. To be more specific, they use a regular MATLAB for engineering analysis and C for code to run on accelerated multi-core analysis and flight computers, Python for some analytics, GUIs and high-level interfaces in the lab and other in stage of works are used in frequent in C++. Since 85% of the special programs were written in HALS, let's take a quick look at HALS. HALS stands for High Order Assembly Language Shuttle. It's a programming language developed for NASA in the early 1970s by Intermatrix. Its ALS is regarded as one of the real-time high-level programming languages for onboard programs of spaceflight. Almost 85% of the programs used in space shuttle programs were written in HALS. At the time of engineering, HALS, almost every program on board spacecraft was written in either in assembly language or in interpreter language. But the slowness of the interpreter languages and the difficulty of writing programs in the assembly languages made NASA come up with a new high order language that can be used in future projects as well. Besides, HALS was written in such a manner that any person having little non prior programming knowledge can write programs with. Is. Initially, HAL was developed as processor of Fortran. That is, it was written in Fortran and it was generated Fortran source code. But with the time and advancement of shuttle projects, this preprocessor approach was dropped and HAL was renamed to HALS. S stands for shuttle. The new approach was to write compilers in a language customized for compilers writing to use an intermediate language. Halman. Common statements for other high level languages were implemented in HALS. Decision statement, such as if, looping statement, such as for, do, and while were added. Also, to make HALS a real time language compiler, NASA also added some statements such as wait, schedule, priority, and terminate to be used in real time processor. So, how do you actually code in HALS? Well, here's the thing first, yum first program, where yum is the main line, a name for a program is given, which is the first, which is followed by a colon. Then we have to write a program so that the compiler can identify this program. Every main text line must be ended with a semicolon. The next two lines starting with C command lines and they don't need a semicolon. The final line starting with TM is a concluding line for the program and we have to write the following close. For example, if you want to use a formula, this is a square plus b square equal to c square in HALS, we have two options to choose from. First, the exponents can be written in different lines while keeping the exponents and corresponding variables aligned in a way that compiler can differentiate which exponent belongs to which variable. Or, the exponent can also be expressed as in other programming languages, which is asterisk refers to power raised. There's something wrong with upper quote snippet. If you have minimum programming knowledge, you have already figured out the intentional mistake. A, B, C have not been declared before being used in the formula. The syntax for this will be M declare an integer. M is a main text and declares a keyword used to define a variable named A and then the type of the variable A is written before ending the line with a semicolon. Finally, if you are a candidate to become a NASA software engineer, I recommend that you build your preparations on the basis of four languages C, C, Python, or Java. Well, that's pretty much it. I'm leaving.